News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290 and 101.5 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. Medical marijuana dispensaries are open. Good morning, everyone. It's Montana Morning. It is Thursday, December 8th, 2016. We're expecting a big-time storm system to be moving into western Montana, bringing lots of snow here in the next couple of days. We'll tell you more about that in a moment. Right now, it's cloudy and 9 degrees, and uh, we have some bare and wet roads over Evero Hill. All the other roads around western Montana at this point are bare and dry. Our newscast this morning, sponsored by Selway Armory on Stockyard Road, Montana's premier firearms dealer. This morning's top story, a judge has ruled that a voter initiative that will reopen Montana's medical marijuana dispensaries should take effect immediately. District Judge James Reynolds of Helena ruled yesterday that an error in drafting the ballot measure should not delay patients' access to the drug until July. The judge says the people who are the most in need are those who are seriously ill and are the least able to grow their own marijuana. The initiative approved by voters last month struck down a law that limited medical marijuana providers to three patients each. However, a mistake in the final draft of the measure delayed the effective opening date until July 1st. The three-patient limit has been in effect since August 31st. It forced the closure of marijuana dispensaries across the state, left thousands of registered users without providers. A former Montana man has pleaded guilty to his role in the beating death of his 18-year-old nephew in western Montana. Jeff Smith with Kerr AM Radio reports 24-year-old Stephen Cease of Osborne, Idaho, pleaded guilty yesterday to accountability to negligent homicide in the February 2015 death of Richard Warner. Lake County Attorney Steve Eisenbacher said he'll seek a 40-year prison term when Cease is sentenced on January 18th. A man who crashed his pickup truck into a group of German motorcyclists is heading to, uh, heading to Yellowstone National Park, killing three of them, has been sentenced to two years in jail. The Cody Enterprise reports Manuel De Fuentes of Ontario, Oregon, was sentenced yesterday and was given credit for 181 days he's already served. He pleaded guilty last month to three misdemeanor counts of vehicular homicide stemming from the June 9th crash that killed 53-year-old Tino Cache, 52-year-old Ute Cache, and 37-year-old Eric Brecht. Four other motorcyclists were injured. 34-year-old Donald Hathaway appeared in Missoula Justice Court yesterday on charges of aggravated assault with permanent or life-threatening injury after an altercation with his girlfriend. Deputy Missoula County Attorney Amber Henning has details. Defendant is charged with aggravated assault against the victim, Jane Doe, for strangling her multiple times, almost to the point of unconsciousness after being thrown around, uh, quote, like a rag doll, unquote. The victim stated that the defendant told her he was going to kill her and has threatened to hurt or kill her dogs previously. Henning said this wasn't the first time that Hathaway has assaulted this victim. The defendant has a previous PFMA against the same victim and it was amended down to a disorderly conduct. In addition to the bond we're asking for standard conditions including absolutely no contact with the victim. Judge Marie Anderson set bail at $25,000 and ordered Hathaway to have no contact with the victim. His next court appearance is December 21st. According to the Montana Department of Health and Human Services, norovirus outbreaks are occurring around the state. Epidemiologist Dana Fedges says more outbreaks are typically reported during the winter. In the last two months, we've had 12 outbreaks that have been reported to the state health department. That's a little bit higher than what we normally see during that time of the year. Usually, our Outbreaks are reported in November through April. That's usually our peak time. So to have a lot of those reports come in this early in the winter season is a little bit unusual. During those 12 reported outbreaks, over 250 people reported illness and 10 individuals were hospitalized. Fedges said there are a couple of ways to prevent norovirus infection. The best method would be to wash your hands properly. Do use soap and water to wash your hands. The other big step you can take if you are ill with norovirus and infection, stay home. Don't prepare any food for other individuals and don't go and visit relatives, especially not in like nursing homes or hospitals, because those are already very vulnerable settings. So far this season, there have not been any outbreaks reported in Missoula. Christmas is a time for giving, but Montana Attorney General Tim Fox is warning the public about giving any money or information to scammers using some new tricks this holiday season. Fox says one of the new scams appears frequently on social media. The gift exchange posts that are kind of a pyramid scheme that promise you uh, that if you uh, give a gift that you'll get many in return. 
Uh, they've had labels like Secret Sister Gift Exchange and use hashtags like Love Matters Gift Exchange. Um, those promises typically are bogus, but they're also illegal. Fox also warns of another technique for digital deceit, the use of fake smartphone apps, which can steal personal information. We just recommend that folks do their homework, that they research online uh, these mobile apps before they download them, and that, uh, in particular, the best thing to do is to just stay, stay with the, uh, the device-sponsored app markets. Uh, because they are pretty good about uh, keeping these bogus apps from uh, getting out. The Consumer Protection Bureau has a hotline at 800-481-6896. Once Donald Trump secured the presidency, Montana Senator Steve Daines began compiling a wish list of issues he wants the new president to tackle once he settles into the Oval Office. Well, one of President-elect Trump's driving principles is rolling back the countless Obama administration regulations and these policies that have stifled job creation, they've stifled economic growth, they've stifled innovation. And I could not agree more that reversing these misguided policies policies is critically needed. Danes also pointed out the failures of the Obama administration to enact policies that will improve the lives of Montanans. The Obama administration has failed to support just common sense reforms needed to improve the lives of hardworking Montanans and protecting our way of life. It's unacceptable. And I'm urging President-elect Trump to take prompt, decisive actions to change the course on behalf of all Montanans and the American people. Specifically, some of the issues include keeping Americans safe, protecting taxpayers and rights of conscience, preserving privacy, and fostering innovation, bolstering America's agricultural economy, along with standing up for small businesses and the workforce. Our news talk time now is 612. News Talk, KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Partly to mostly sunny skies today with a slight chance of snow showers. Highs will be in the mid-teens. Snow likely tonight with snow accumulations of 1 to 2 inches. Additional accumulations of snow are expected Friday through the weekend. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster, KECI 13.